join me in solving world 721. I'm still looking at my usual word I rate. Hmm. So we've got an I and an A. We already know where the A is, so I don't really need to try to nail that down with my next guess. I can instead use that extra space for um, <clears throat> getting one more guess of another letter in there. I do want to try to find where the I belongs. I've used Louis before, like the currency. I think that works well here because the I after the A is actually a fairly likely position for the I. It also determines whether there is an O or U in the word. Obviously, U can't be in the right place, but it'll tell me whether it's in the word. Uh, and S and L are some of the next most common consonants. <clears throat> hmm. It's right about one thing, the I. Uh, at this point, we've ruled out a lot of letters. There's not... I feel like that's... Hmm. AI. And there's a lot of things that don't work here because we've ruled out things that are common in a lot of blends, like the S, the T, the L. Um, so words like SC, SH... P L C L S T you know there's a lot of stuff T H all these combinations are ruled out because one of the letters is missing um chain works though C H is still a possibility Ooh, no, okay. Hmm, as long as I, I looked at that one and thought, I kind of, I've kind of felt pretty good about it, but no. There could be another... There could be a double vowel. That would be an A, because there's no... Hmm... Again, it's got to be, right? Those double vowels, they are double letters in general. They trip me up a lot of times. When you've already got one, mm, I got there, but again, four, where maybe could have been three, but no. Still, 504 consecutive days of solving the wordle.